Next article, Famous Occultist talks about the Indigo Children. This is just a brief excerpt. <clears throat> this was on George Norrie this week. I, I'm on his email list. I kind of like to see who he's interviewing. And um, it's usually some different occultist every night is what it typically is. Now, not every night, but most of the time. And it's, uh, this starts out by saying, Named one of the world's greatest psychics, Elizabeth Joyce talks about the Indigo Children. Now, I've done several... Um, teachings where I mention them, I've done a dedicated teaching on Indigo Children that you can key in Scott Johnson and then Indigo up on YouTube, or you can go to the archives section at contendingfortruth.com and find it. According to Joyce, the evolutionary process has gifted certain special children with two extra strands of DNA. Here we go with the DNA again! Isn't that weird? So these indigo children supposedly have two extra strands of DNA, hmm, which will be activated in the forthcoming era of the new vibration. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Remember that song? This is what they're talking about. This is the, They're talking about when the ascended masters, with I believe as Maitreya as their head, will make their scene, will make their debut, and they're going to bring in this new higher vibration. And we are going to become as gods, those that are willing to enter in to the new age and to undergo the Luciferic initiation. And a lot of that will have to do with you taking the mark of the beast. You know, which is a, you know, eternal death sentence to hell in the lake of fire. So I highly would highly advise you don't ever do that. But I'm just saying, that's, that's what it is. Anyway, um, all of us will have to adjust, this is what this Elizabeth lady is saying, to this new higher octave frequency, she added. So everybody get out your tuning forks, because we're going to have to adjust to the higher octave frequencies. In addition, Joyce said the indigo children are characterized by an unusually direct stare, high intelligence, and ability to cooperate. Well, that's not what I've seen. I've seen a lot of them, people that say they're indigo children, they're spoiled, rotten brats that can't be controlled and won't cooperate. Why? Because they believe they're little gods walking around on this earth. They're like little Hitlers, little Mussolinis, if you will. El Duce. And they're walking around here and acting like, you know, they they own, own everything and that they're owed everything. And they have this unusually direct stare and many times very large eyes. Two extra strands of DNA. Hmm. I did the whole study on them, and, uh, you know, you might want to listen to that for a more complete explanation of this. Again, she's saying they have two extra strains of DNA. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to see. But, you know what, I really wouldn't be surprised at anything anymore with what we're seeing. 